Well, Ian, thanks for um, having a chat. No uh, congratulations on the new role. How's it uh, feel, I guess, having been with the club the first season in the A League and then coming back now? Yeah, it's good. It's good at the moment. Everything's, you know, seems everything's positive at the moment. Uh, we obviously haven't played a game yet and got beaten in the game, so that uh, that's, tends to be when, when a little bit of pressure is heaped on you. But no, it's been, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, but, but really enjoyable one today. Because you were there in the first year of the A League, I mean, how, how have you seen, I guess, the club change since that, since that first season? I certainly, uh, I mean, just where we are now in terms of this, I remember in, in year one we was, we was in a park league in a tiny little room and six of us in there trying to get changed and it was very difficult. But we, we, had, uh, we had Dwight, obviously, which, which just gave it a massive film, Pierre, with it also being the inaugural A League, it was kind of plastered everywhere. So it was probably it's got into a little, little niche now, and and it's going along, you know. Whereas in the first year it was kind of yeah, it was just massive, and uh, but it's yeah, it's grown as a club. It's it's a better club than it was then because we obviously had only just started. And how do you see, I guess, the standard of the A League, you know, the football that's that's getting played now as opposed to seven years ago? Oh, that, that's a real difficult one because I still think that I think that Sydney FC side in year one was a good side. Um, you know, you had like Sakura, Catale, York, Carney um, that were that were in there, and um, you know, it, it was a it was a good side. So um, it's evolved um, more now in terms of I think more sides now are looking at the way that they're playing. Um, where I think year one was really all about winning. I think everybody just set out to win year one, um, and uh, but it's yeah no it's it's certainly evolved in terms of playing styles now. I think sides have nutted down their own playing styles, and, and that and it's uh, yeah I think it's been good. But certainly there were teams in that first year, Adelaide as well, that were a very good side, so would have would have all gone close to winning it now. And how do you want the the team the, the club to to play? I mean, what's your I guess philosophy for football that you're gonna Bring. Yeah, look, I, I, I've been fortunate in in my background from from a player that uh, sort of at Tottenham as a young as a young boy with the likes of Glenn Hoddle and Ozzy Aldeles, uh, was it was all flair and and that, and that was what I was brought up with. And then flipped to Norwich again, which was known at the time as like a nursery to sort of Spurs. And so I've been involved in teams that have always looked to get the ball down and play. Um, which some people might find hard because uh, they think everything in England is not long and in the channels, which which isn't the case. Um, so my philosophy has been born from there. Um, each team I've had here, I've tried to play football on the deck. Brian Clough's famous quote is, you know, they, uh, if they'd have wanted the ball played in the air, they'd have built the pitch in the clouds. And you know, pitches on there, that's where the markings are, and that's where we look to play. And so. I want to play a possession-based game. And obviously, Sydney FC's struggled a little bit the last two seasons. Where do you think you can, you know, improve the the team? Oh, it's difficult. I think that uh, we, we need to first and foremost improve probably our mindset. I think we've, there's been pressure. There's always pressure on Sydney FC because of just because of the name. Everybody's expecting it to be there or thereabouts, um, and we've. We've got to now start to deal with that expectation, uh, probably a little bit better than we've done in the past. Um, but yeah, we, we're going to work hard on on the training field to actually produce a style of play that will suit the players that we've got. And you've made two signings already, Ali Abbas and, and Fabio. I mean, sort of looking at those guys, they're they're both very skillful players, you know, technically proficient. Are those the kind of signings I guess we're going to expect to see in the future? Yeah, there's, you obviously you like a bit of a mix, but first and foremost, all of them that we're looking at, all players that we're looking at, have got to be technically, technically good. Um, them two certainly are. They're not the biggest, so we won't be a threat from corners with either of them. But uh, but no, we're you know we're looking to, to sort of bring in players that are technically good and be able to to play, as I say, that sort of possession-based game where we can control games. With the playing ranks, I guess you'd be looking to bring in a goalkeeper to replace Liam Reddy, and then. Yeah. Strikers for Kazarine yes. and McKellar. Yeah, certainly, and uh, and then you know, there's 
you know, probably the one area where we're really comfortable is sort of in that central midfield area. We've got sort of a number of bodies in there, but we are pretty light up front. Uh, and, um, and, you know, at the back, obviously now with, with Fabio coming in, it's been great. Um, but probably centrally at the back there, obviously, we lost big, big Megsy, big Beauchamp as well. So, um, yeah, we need to sort of replace there as well. And you've talked about, um, I think with SBS, I've talked about bringing the bling back to Sydney FC and the kind of swagger I guess they had the first season that you were there. Um, is that going to come perhaps in a you know in a big name signing from overseas? Oh look, no, probably not to be fair because um, you know budget restraints. You know we've got two marquee players, so um, so we're, we're we're fine in that area. Um, I think it was actually uh, somebody else sort of said about the bling and said you know do we want to bring it back? I said look. I'm not going to hide from it. Um, at the end of it, if people want to call it bringing back the bring, they can say that. Uh, we just want to play sort of in, exciting football for our fans to watch. You're looking also at make a either bring in another assistant or a youth coach. Is that that's right? Uh, well, me, we'll, we'll obviously be looking at the youth team, obviously now because I've sort of stepped up. But uh, sort of myself and, and Steve and, and Shilko with the, with the first grade, it's all fine. Uh, we've got good people like Brian Dean and Miro that was involved with the youth last year. So mm -hmm. yeah, we'll just we'll we'll keep looking at that area and uh, and look to sort of have a flow in which we've had in the past. And with the youth team for Sydney FC, is there any sort of players? I guess you know exciting players that you can shed some light on that might be coming through or could be challenging for a first grade spot next well, season. Well, obviously, young Haji Gligor has, has sort of come. He's only 16, and you know come from N Swiss into our youth team and as a young boy, probably the youngest in our squad last year, one player of the year uh, for the youth team um, and has then now come up into the first grade. So so he's obviously one and young Petkovsky the same and Malia. So and there's yeah there's other decent young ones down there but they've still got a lot of work to do yet. And what's the, the situation with Terry Antonis? I know there's been some interest um, from from yeah. Germany. Yeah. Is he has there been a decision made whether he's going to stay with the club next season or...? That will obviously rely on if there's any offers in yep. uh, for him and that. Um, so but was, the club was happy and realised that we're, we're fortunate to have an individual like Terry Antonis that's going to um, have interest from overseas. And, you know, we realise that we're in a position here, not just at Sydney FC, but totally in Australia, that, you know, our better young boys uh, are going to go eventually. Um, it's just that when the time's right for both the club and the player. Um, delighted to have Terry here at the moment and if something comes up we'll you know obviously then we'll have to look at that.